everyone, it's Miss Carol, and I thought I would read a story to everyone this week. Normally, I just read to the younger children, but this week I thought I'd record a story for every age group, from toddler all the way to junior high, because, you know, sometimes we all like to have a story read to us. So this, this story I'm reading is from the story for children, the storybook Bible. And we're going to be, obviously, if we're on week 14, it's the week of Christmas. So I'm going to be reading a story that has to do with Jesus being born. Surprised by an angel. That's what we are starting out with. Mary loved her village and the hills around the little town of Nazareth. The morning dew felt cool on Mary's toes as she walked to the well for water. Good morning, a voice interrupted Mary's walk. Who, who are you? Mary asked the stranger. I am the angel Gabriel, and God has sent me to tell you something important. The Lord has blessed you and is with you, said the angel visitor. Mary's mind was full of questions and confusion. Don't be afraid, the angel assured her. God is very pleased with you. He has chosen you to be the mother of the Son of God. Soon you will have a baby boy, and you will call him Jesus. He will be called great, and he will save the world. But how can this be, said Mary, still confused. I'm not married yet. God will cause a miracle to happen. With God, all things are possible. Mary listened and believed the angel's words. I trust the Lord. I am his servant, and I am ready for this miracle. Mary knew this was a great blessing, and she began to sing the praises to the Lord. I always show the little ones the pictures, so I'll show everybody the pictures, because this is just a beautiful book. There's Mary, and there's the angel Gabriel. Okay. Meanwhile, the angel visited Joseph. He was a good man, and he loved Mary very much. The angel came to Joseph in a dream with the same message. God has caused a miracle to happen. And even though you aren't married, God's Holy Spirit has caused Mary to be, be pregnant. She will have a baby boy, and you will name him Jesus. Give him that special name because it means he will save his people from their sins. Joseph believed all that the angel said. He was ready to obey Mary. It was and he was ready to obey and Mary was ready to obey as well. Together they waited for the special miracle to come true. So here's this picture. Oh, there they are. There they are. Okay, here we go. Joseph gently lifted Mary onto the donkey's back, and their journey began. The Roman Empire picked a bad time to make us go to our hometowns, Joseph complained. Yes, agreed Mary, but it's the law. He wants to count his citizens. The trip to Bethlehem was a hard journey for a woman about to have a baby. Late that night, they reached the little town. To find a room so you can rest, Joseph said. I'll find one. But every inn he tried was full of people. He knocked on door after door and got the same answers. Full, no more rooms. Try down the street. Oh, Mary was very tired and Joseph was worried. He kept knocking and begging for a room. Please, we'll take any little corner, anything you have. My wife is about to have a baby. Oh, the innkeeper felt sorry for the young couple. There's a stable in the back. I mean, it's small and, and dark and with animals, and it's not very clean. We'll take it, Joseph said. Okay, here's this picture. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, he just wanted to have Mary rest. 
Here we go. Joseph made Mary as comfortable as he could in the damp little stable. And not a moment too soon, for that night, her baby boy was born, just at the, as the angel had said. They named the baby Jesus. Mary looked at her beautiful baby, remembering the angel's words. He will save the world. That same night, some shepherds were taking care of their sheep in a nearby field. An angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds with a glorious light shining all around. The shepherds had never seen such a thing. They were scared. But the angel calmed them down by saying, Don't be afraid. I am bringing you good news that will be a joy to all the people. Today your Savior was born in Bethlehem. This is how you will know him. He will be wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Oh, forgot to show you the picture. I always forget. <laughs> These are just beautiful illustrations. That's what I want to show you. If you can see, look how beautiful. There's baby Jesus. Oh, it's so beautiful. Then... Many angels appeared in the sky, singing and praising God for the wonderful gift of baby Jesus. They sang glory to God in the heaven and on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. The shepherds could hardly wait to meet baby, the baby Savior. So they went straight to town looking for a baby lying in a manger. And when they found Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, they knew that the angel's words were true. Here's the picture. Another really good picture, boys and girls. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, so wonderful. So God's message, everyone, is today my son has been born as a human. Like you, he will laugh and cry. Like you, he will know the love and comfort of family and friends. Like you, he will experience sadness and pain. Born to be your savior, he will live among you and bring you great joy. He will be your hope and your salvation. Wow, that's like the best story of all, isn't it, everyone? Well, I hope you enjoyed the story tonight because it is a true story, isn't it? it? Yes, right from our Bible. Well, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and you enjoy your time with your family. And just remember the true meaning of Christmas. It's wonderful to get our presents and, and all that stuff, but it's all about Jesus being born. So I want you to have a Merry Christmas, and I will see you in 2021. And everyone, Merry Christmas. Blessings to you all.